In Gran Turismo 7, there is a tuning option which no one's really talking about. It can help you to get faster, it can help you to fine tune a car to make it more stable, to more oversteering, more understeery. It can do so many things, and the best thing of all, it does not affect the PP rating. And in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate exactly what it does, exactly how you can use it to your advantage. I'm gonna demonstrate it in my uh, engine swapped uh, Silvia S15. Uh, I think this is a pretty okay car to demonstrate this, but it works in every single car. All you need to have done is added the fully customizable suspension and the suspension tuning option we're going to look at is toe angle. This can have a very significant effect. It doesn't affect PP no matter what setting you put your toe angle on and the game doesn't really do a good job of uh, explaining it. So according to the game, uh, this is where we adjust uh, the car's toe angle when looking from above the vehicle. The diagram is perfect, it makes perfect sense. What I don't quite fully agree with is it says a towing angle provides more stability when driving in a straight line, though it also increases the risk of understeering. A tow out angle has the opposite effect. Now, I believe that's true for the rear axle. Uh, for the front axle, I found completely different. So let's go and try this out. So first of all, you can find the setting in detailed settings. Head over to the uh, suspension settings now on a race car you will already have a fully customizable uh, suspension setup but on a road car you'll need to buy that from GT Auto uh, the fully customizable one is the only one that allows you to change the toe angle and the two settings are down here so toe angle for the front toe angle for the rear this is essentially uh, when looking from the top of the vehicle if the front of the tires is pointing inwards this is toe in and if the front, uh, front of the tires are pointing outwards, this is toe out. It's literally, as you look down at your feet, toe in, toe out, exactly the same, whether that's on the front or the rear. Typically, cars will, on the front axle, they could have toe in or toe out. That's pretty normal in real life. On the rear axle, it's incredibly rare, almost never happens when you have toe out at the rear. It's always straight ahead or at least a little bit of toe in. Uh, but the game allows you to do toe out at the rear, so we're going to try that. So first of all, I'm going to try the car completely stock with uh, 0.1 degrees of toe out at the front, 0.2 degrees of toe in at the rear. Now, it's not clear whether it's in angle in degrees. Um, I assume it must be, but either way, it is a very small increment, but the, the changes are quite significant. So we're going to drive the car. I'm going to drive from cockpit view so you can see uh, what I can see with my steering input angles. Now, this car is actually really quite balanced if anything a little bit understeery it's got a lot of power in the car so we can spin up the rear wheels now towing is not going to fix a car that is incredibly overpowered so don't think it's a magical fix to deliver 1200 horsepower uh, to the road it's just about when you're barely on the edge of braking traction uh, is when towing is going to help you out now this car feels pretty good at the moment it's not too far away it will spin up the tires if we get on the gas a bit too soon it seems quite uh, understeer really on corner entry uh, overall pretty understeer but it has got the power to spin up the tires and I'm gonna go through, on those slow corners especially it's very very lazy you can see the car just rev out there that's pretty good it feels pretty balanced and uh, now what we're gonna do first of all is evaluate the front axle so the first thing we're gonna try is maximum toe out uh, let's just do this here. So maximum toe out at the front. We're going to leave the rear axle uh, the same and we're going to see how this one feels. Uh, auto drive immediately into the first corner and already the car feels very, very vague. Uh, the feedback I'm getting from the steering wheel is I need to put a lot more steering effort in to get the same amount of turning. And I can actually feel a little bit of subtle vibration from the wheels. So that is incredibly incredibly lazy to turn in incredibly numb around neutral with the steering uh, so much so that i'm actually steering the wheel a lot more than i th think i need to uh, it is pretty safe on corner exit it seems to be safe whenever the car slides a bit which is is handy but it's certainly too much i think now it's only going to 1.0 as the setting um, so you can easily go too far with this setting to make the car, I think, bad. Now, in a straight line, I can feel a little bit of wheel wobble. Um, this is probably coming from the car uh, not being able to align itself. 
Um, but yeah, toe out on the front makes the car very numb, very docile, very vague. Okay, now switching the front toe to be all the way in. So one degree, let's say, one degree seems a bit not much really. So let's just got it 1.0 of toe in angle. And let's see how this feels now. So straight away, we're going to see this into the final corner. And the, the steering wheel, the, the force feedback feels tight. And the car feels much more positive, more keen to stay in the corner, more keen to get into the corner. And actually, I'm, I'm feeling a bit of force feedback, uh, almost oscillation, uh, which could be maybe too much toe in, but already the car is so much more positive uh, to, to dart into the corner, to change direction. Uh, once it gets into the corner, it wants to stay in the corner. Much more positive to drive, which is the opposite of what the uh, guide says. But I think the guide is more specific to the rear axle. Uh, so in this car in particular, toe in at the front seems to give me what I want from the car. Although it does feel like I've gone too far. When I'm driving, I can feel the wheel oscillations a little bit it's not ideal now i've tried other cars while testing to make this video and using high towing angles on uh, grippier race cars makes the steering incredibly tight it makes it oscillate like crazy uh, so you can go too far with this so i reckon uh, anything above uh, 0.5 is probably going to be too much i'm going to put it back to the uh, the 0.1 uh, tow out for the default setting and now we're going to run some tow for the rear now what i'm going to do i'm going to run another lap just with the car completely back to stock so i'll get that baseline feel for the car so back in the in the stock setup form the the wheel actually feels nicer and there's a lot less uh, juddering through the wheel everything feels where it needs to be but i've, I've got a bit more vagueness back compared to the really high towing angle uh, there's a lot more vagueness in the steering uh, but it's certainly a lot better it was with a high toe out angle. So, yeah, I, I personally would be putting a bit of toe in onto the car, I think. It was definitely more positive. And I think faster to drive uh, with toe in at the front. Now, this is a car that's naturally understeery anyway. So you want to tune the toe in on your car, on the front of the car, to almost uh, complement or, or work against what the car wants to naturally do. If you've got a naturally pointy car, add toe out, that'll calm it down. If you've got a naturally docile car, then add some toe in, uh, that should sharpen the car up. So that's our baseline run done. Now let's test the rear toe in. Okay, first of all, we're gonna add maximum toe in. This I think is the most appropriate setting to use. Uh, so we're going from a little bit of toe in to a lot of rear toe in. The front remains the same. Uh, that is the control for this test. So throttling now, most of the, the, the rear towing is, is felt when you're on the gas, when you're on throttle, that's when it has most effect. And in my previous testing, uh, it just gives the car more rear traction on power. Now, it is still possible to spin up the tires. Uh, if you've got too much power to overcome traction, then it's just gonna spin out. That's of course what's gonna happen. Uh, but if you're on the borderline of just braking traction, the car, just has more more grip with more rear towing and it does understeer a lot more especially in those kind of mid 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 speed corners just before it, it breaks traction definitely easier to handle when the car does slide it seems to reg regain grip uh, a bit sharper so that that's definitely a good thing uh, but with this car it naturally was a bit understeery anyway so i don't think it's the right thing to do uh, for this car you can just feel this tire start to spin but you've got the control to catch them now we're going to set it to maximum toe out at the rear i can't ever imagine this being done in any race car in real life ever uh, but the game allows us to do it so we will test it now already it feels weird it's the rear end wants to just slide left and slide right but not actually sliding it just vaguely drives left and right this is the, the car feels completely broken um, and <laughs> I wouldn't recommend going 
into uh, any kind of toe out at the rear because the car just is just constantly fighting itself. It's just one. No, it's absolutely, absolutely rubbish. Uh, we'll per persevere anyway. I, I guess if you've got got a car that is now it doesn't even drive nicely in a straight line, guys. This this is absolutely the wrong thing to do. I can't believe the game actually lets you uh, set toe out at the rear. Um, so I, <laughs> I don't even think it's worth driving down the straight to be honest, guys. This is absolutely shocking. Uh, so I would always always encourage. Uh, yeah, that, that's terrible. Let's try zero. Okay, I'd never try less than zero, but zero is probably a valid real life setup. Okay, so with the rear toe in set to zero, uh, let's see how this one feels. Exiting the first, the last corner. Reasonable grip, it feels pretty good. The car feels normal again now. It's not def definitely not broken like it was before with the toe out at the rear. Uh, and corner exit there seems pretty good spins up a little bit that's not too bad on the brakes actually feels really quite good guys this is for this car that naturally is a bit uh, dull with its uh, steering properties zero is actually a pretty valid uh, rear toe setup I think yeah not bad at all uh, see how it is on this uh, a little bit snappy on corner exit maybe um, but this is certainly back to being fully drivable again Let's see how it is through the final corner a little bit of corners on corner entry but that was me coming in a bit hot I think it slides pretty nicely uh, zero is a pretty good setup I think for this car specifically that is naturally a little bit uh, dull and do docile uh, zero rear towing actually brings the car alive so to summarize tow in angles essentially on the front axle you can have tow in or tow out both is valid uh, both work very well and basically the more tow out you have the more stable and docile the car is but it is possible to go too far so going all the way to one uh, is probably too much tow in makes the car positive it makes the car very uh, keen to turn in uh, very keen to hold onto the corner through the mid corner and corner exit uh, so if you want to sharpen a car's feeling up uh, then add some more tow in at the front and the things to be aware of is that extreme tow in and tow out angles uh, the steering can start to oscillate uh, you're going to start to be fighting with the car and that's because uh, certainly when you have tow in on the car uh, imagine like you've got skis pointing inwards as the weight transfers left and right it, it, it moves to the tire that's pointing inwards and then you transfer backwards and you move to the tire that's pointing the other way it's going like that all the time uh, so i think that's why extreme toe in angles uh, aren't very good certainly in the higher grip higher power higher downforce cars uh, but this is a very valid setting i would probably be playing in the region of 0.3 either way uh, see how it works for you see how it works specific for each car uh, just let me know what you think in the comments guys for the rear tow in i would highly recommend never going to tow out at the rear it just made the car feel just a bit broken a, a small angle of tow out might be okay if you're desperate to get the car to steer but i think it's just a, a broken way of setting the car i would recommend only going to zero uh, as a minimum and tow in at the rear makes the car much more stable again it has though the, the wheels are driving towards the center of the car it helps to stabilize the car it gets a bit of extra positive slip angle on the outside tire uh, the one that's most often loaded uh, so yeah adding tow in at the rear adds rear end stability now this isn't a fix to uh, deliver 1200 horsepower uh, on comfort medium tires uh, of course you're just going to brake traction and spin no matter what setting you've got on your tuning sheet but this is going to help you to subtly tune uh, the car uh, no matter what car you're driving and the PP doesn't change at all this is a completely uh, setup change completely for free you can fine-tune to exactly how you want it to be guys if you want to improve your sim racing experience then check out links in the description below for GT Omega I can get you 5% off anything at GT Omega I use the GT Omega classic wheel stand the RS6 seat uh, my exclusive discount code is CD5 uh, check out all the products at GT Omega. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I've still got my G29 on my uh, classic wheel stand. Works absolutely perfect. Go and check that stuff out. 
And guys, if you want to know other things about tuning in Gran Turismo 7, go and check out the video on screen right now. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Check that one. I'll catch you in the next one.